girls got the kids tripping these days. Bunch of journalists been searching for a story. My ex girl still searching for a sorry. Couple bitches trying to have me on. Okay, so this is gonna be the story time of basically how these bitches in my school tried to say that I got around. If you ever what that means, if you're not from Brooklyn or if you didn't live in one of these major cities like in. I was in middle school. Like, oh my god! Anyway, I think I was in middle school. I was in middle school. I don't remember what grade. It was probably seventh or eighth. But yeah, so that's when AIM was popping. And I was on AIM, and like I was talking to some boy. Or whatever. He went to my school. His name was Jilly. He was whatever. He was some nigga that went to my school. He flirted with everybody. And I just saw that it from back and we used to talk, but we never dated. So that's the whole backstory or whatever. And in middle school, like I ain't had any friends because I don't really like people like that. So I think I had like maybe four or five friends that I actually fucked with. And they knew that my mother was not with really me going outside anytime I wanted to go outside, leaving when I wanted to leave. None of that bullshit. So this is where the shit started. So I'm on A or whatever. And this girl that I grew up with basically, she gonna tell me, she like, oh, I heard you get around. I'm like, bitch, what are you talking about? She like, I heard that you get around. I'm like, can you please like explain yourself? Because I'm not understanding what you're trying to say to me. She like, oh, it means that, you know, you get around, you be with the boys or whatever. And I'm like, bitch, who told you that? Because clearly they lied. Like, what are you talking about? She like, oh, don't tell them I told you, but you told me that you get around or whatever. And I'm like, hold up. Pause, like, pause. You bug my guy. And I'm like, so I write this bum ass girl. I'm like, um, you are gonna tell him why he ain't had nothing to say. He tried to act like his mother was taking the fucking keyboard from him. Sending me all types of fucking alphabetical. Just he sent me the fucking alphabet, basically. Just A B C D E F G Z's, all that. I'm like, my nigga, like, what are you doing? Like, this is not the fucking game. Like, you over here lying. Not gonna fuck with you like that. And then like, I was going out with his friend or cousin, whatever you want to call it. I was going to his cousin, and I never done nothing to his cousin because my mother don't play that and neither did I. So. Basically, we fake went out like we would walk home sometime or walk halfway home or just sit in the park and talk or whatever. I think I kissed him maybe twice. And like for me to be here with some dumb shit talking about something, oh, I heard you get around. Like, bitch, no, I'm not you. I'm not out here fucking something like, no, that was never my life. Like, that was not my calling. So, I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I'm like, I'm still trying to figure out like where you get this idea from. And he just like he just made it up basically because I ain't stopped pressing him. Like he tried to just dip out the end conversation. And so I know I'm like, bitch, I'm still here. Like you can't just sign off and I disappear, bitch. I'm still here. You gotta see me in school. So I suggest you get your shit together. So he comes back on a few minutes later or whatever. Come back on two minutes later. With some fucking excuse like oh I just that's what I heard I'm like my nigga you didn't hear that from nobody because I don't fuck with nobody you hear no dumb shit like that number one number two the area we lived in when we went to school in the school was directly across the street from where I live so bitch do I look stupid to be out here being a hoe when I live across the street and I know everybody in my fucking Hood. Like, what do I look like? Like, who does that? Like, my nigga, like, you just was salty because I wasn't trying to fuck with you. Like, that's why you were salty. I don't know why, because in middle school, I was ugly as shit. Like, what you was mad for? Like, come on now, get over yourself. Then the boy that I was talking to, he got a hip feeling. I'm like, sir, 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 sir. Don't bring this bullshit to me, number one. Number two, how the fuck I'm getting around? But bitch, you know that I can't go nowhere. Like, school is over at 3 o'clock. If I didn't have after school, I had to bring that ass right home before 6 o'clock. If I did have after school, I had to be home 
by 6 o'clock, maybe 6.15 if we got out at exactly 6 o'clock. But most of the time we got out at 5.30. So I don't have time to play none of those games. Like my mother was not with the shit. If I come home late, I'm gonna punish me. I'm gonna get my ass beat. Like, I ain't have time for that. So like all that rumor shit was blowing my mind. Like, it was it was really blowing. And like the thing I found so funny was like I knew this bitch since like pre K. And I'm like, I know who you been fucking with and doing some shit that you not supposed to be doing. And you coming to me so most of my hands you get around when bitch all I did is kiss this bum ass nigga, like what are you talking about? And the nigga that's telling you the lies, I did not fuck with him, like where's the logic like? Plenty of bitches in my school was, you know, busting it open and I was not one of them bitches because uh, my mother did not play those games, like, or for rip. It was like, you know, in that section, you know, and I wasn't even thinking about that when I was in middle school, to be honest, like, middle school, I think I was worried about songs and I don't know. I wouldn't worry about that though. That would be the furthest thing all around it. So I was like worried about sex. Like, what? Talk get smack when I come home. Talk get smack when my mother find out. Nah, I'm not stupid. Like, no. Nobody got time for me. Nobody's a teen mother, single mother, none of that. And no shade to y'all, but that just was not my life. Like, I wasn't with it. And that was real short. It came to the point. Like, that was basically just took time. How this bitch. And I went to middle school with that I know her whole life story, her mother, all of them, not her father, whatever, her mother, her sister, all of them. And she goes out to talk about stuff, I ain't heard that you gave it up. Bitch. Bitch. I heard that you gave it up. Like, and we only need like that with great. So what do you say to me? But that was the story, or whatever, you know. Like, subscribe. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna say subscribe because that's mad cool. Like, you like, oh, subscribe my channel. No. If you like the content, then subscribe because, like, you know, that's how it's supposed to go. You're not just gonna subscribe because it's a terrible subscribe. But, yeah, that's it.